Hi, I'm JoLynn Johnston, and this is Our Ohio. For four generations, the Boyd family has been practicing the ancient art of glassmaking. Beginning with Zach Boyd in 1901, glassmaking secrets and formulas have been handed down from father to son. Boyd Glass still manufactures collectibles the old-fashioned way, a man and a mold. We traveled to Cambridge to see this beautiful process in action. In the small town of Cambridge, glassmaking was once a booming industry. With the establishment of glass producers like the Cambridge Glass Company, Ohio workers produced valuable art glass that sold throughout the world. Yes, Cambridge was well known for their glass making uh, different colors and, and uh, it's a huge operation and hired hundreds of people here in Cambridge. And they're known over the world for their glass, the Cambridge glass. It went out of business in, in the 50s. But the glass making tradition could not be broken and one man turned his community's craft into a family tradition. Boyd Glass began with my grandfather, Bernard C. Boyd. He started the business in 1978. He had always worked for other factories. His father also worked in glass, but never worked for himself. He always worked for another company. So when my grandfather was 70, he had an opportunity to buy his own business. And of three kids, the only one that chose and chose to follow a 70 year old's dream uh, was my dad. He talked to my sister and my brother and of course uh, they thought he was silly 70 years old to buy a factory but uh, I guess I was the oldest and the dumbest so he talked to me about it and I said okay I'll do her. So then uh, I moved from Columbus down to Cambridge and uh, we started a little glass factory started from, uh, you know, from scratch. Boyd Crystal Art Glass is just a small company, family owned, and uh, we manufacture different colors of glass and little novelty pieces, and we send our pieces over the country and different areas. We have about 200 different molds. The molds would vary by toothpick holders, um, ashtrays, but most popular items for us are figurines, teddy bears, unicorns, Scotty dogs. So even though we have 200 different molds, the most popular ones are the figurines. A lot of the people come by and they're expecting to see a factory blocks long and hundreds of employees. And here at Boyd's, uh, there's only five of us and uh, that would manufacture glass and so it's, it's we're real small and unique and so they're, they're surprised that just just uh, the few of us are making the, the colors and the amount of glass that we make but in their small size Boyd glass finds strength Boyd glass is a small operation because we're small we make our own glass some other glass factories can buy cullet which is waste glass we have probably 400 different formulas that my grandfather has created when he's worked for other glass factories. So we have a formula, which is a recipe, like you're baking a cake. The recipe or formula is, is kind of a family secret, and uh, we use sand and soda and all the basic materials. Plus we use some exotic metals that, that we get from over the world. We actually throw this into a tank and, and dissolve it down. It's all handmade and done the old-fashioned way. Some of the, the bigger factories today are, are mass-producing glass on, on a machine that will automatically make like a thousand or five thousand pieces an hour. Whereas at Boyd's Glass, we gather it out and put it into a mold and make it one piece at a time.
Boy Glass enjoys that cozy feeling, you know, where people come in and, and they can talk to the owner. You know, we don't um, seclude ourselves in, a, in our office. You know, we're actually making the glass. Because we're small, we have our own niche. We can't compete with some of the larger glass factories that make tableware. You know, we make figurines in unique colors. And then we can also specialize by satining them or by painting them. And when it comes to naming their pieces, the Boyds get personal. My favorite mold is the JB, which is a Scotty dog. It's my namesake. It was named after me, so that's what I like. Other molds that are special to me are molds that are named after my son and mold that's named after my daughter. So we have a Patrick Bear and we have an Elizabeth Dahl. A lot of our items are named after family members, so th those are the ones that are special to me. We name the different items after different people. You know, like my mother, we have a Louise doll. The first person in the Boyd family that made glass was Zach Boyd. And I have an elephant that we named after Zach because he's the one that started all this with his uh, glass making ability. I'm the fourth generation of glass maker. It's important for me to continue making glass because of the legacy, because my great-grandfather had been in glass, my grandfather had been in glass, my father is still in glass. You know, my, my dad and my grandfather worked hard c creating these different formulas and, and uh, the workaholic that they were. And uh, in fact, when I first started, my dad said, well, you just have to work half a day and you'll be all right. Of course, he was thinking 12 hours. Half a day is 12 hours. I thought 12 hours is a long time. But it's nice to have a son working with me that enjoys glass as much as I do. And what they say is, if you like what you're doing, it's not really a job. <laughs> <laughs>